Hi guys, greetings from my office. So uh, today is a relatively quiet day because the last one week has been has been quite busy in our shop. Uh, last last Thursday was crazy, right? Suddenly, uh, you know, the bookings just came in and park. You know, it was Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I was so full. <laughs> we had to we had to close for bookings. Uh, today is uh, today what is today 24th of January a relatively quieter day today this morning we had a proton saga that came in for a contactless package wash and uh, as, as here and once he is here the owner changed his mind and decided to go for morning drive so today uh, later in the afternoon a BMW e32 is coming in for a morning drive package uh, but that's it that that's that's all i believe we have time for today because i am going to focus we are going to focus on this car this mercedes c300 has been with us for i think a couple of weeks now all right and uh well you look at the condition you know this is a flooded car okay so uh this car was towed into the uh our neighbor's prestige car care for flood repairs and whilst they whilst whilst it was there uh, because the prestige team they are a bit preoccupied so the owner also has requested us whilst waiting for his turn to go into the service bay that we uh, get our hands on to clean this car so see this car is a bit of a tricky job okay because uh, well water went in and uh, but kudos to the owner you see because you see when the car was uh, at the floods right the flood water was until here on the outside but uh, inside the cabin, flood water entered until this about was this high. So the areas like the dashboard all is is quite clean. And uh, upon retrieving rescuing the car, the owner was very quick quick to act in putting the extractor to to suck out as much water from the carpet as possible. But the tricky thing is this: when your car cannot flood, right, you can suck as much water out from the carpet, uh, but the foam underneath, right. You see it's still still wet one so until we can take the carpet out of the car uh there's only so much we can do but the, the problem here is this the electric seats of this car because the control module underneath here is well is jammed uh the seats can't move when you can't move the seats you can't access the screws that hold the seat to that bolt the seat to the chassis all right, and as a result, that is holding back a bit of progress on this car. Uh, what we are doing now is that we are, the, we are, the crew has resolved. We are going to clean up the seats here first. Okay, uh, we have also cleaned up the boot. When we first got this car, right, the boot was, was caked with mud. So we've cleaned up, we've cleaned the fuse box. Uh, we took out the rear seats. Rear seats was the easiest part to take out. We took out the rear seats. We cleaned the underside of the seats. We dried the rear seat bags so the seats are all over there. We took it out. We dried. We cleaned it. So at least now it can tell the owner the seats are, are, are cleaned up. And uh, there's still much work to be done. But uh, but we are we are getting there. All right. So this is going to be a long running project for us. And uh, we're going to update you guys from time to time how it progresses. So this. So this car also came to us with the battery completely dead. All right, so the Prestige team, they have replaced the new battery into the car. Uh, we've run power into the car, but we haven't started the engine. We didn't start the engine because we, we, we don't want the engine to get hydro locked. Okay, so at, at the very least, if we don't start the engine, there's still a chance that the engine can be saved down the road. So we, but we connected the, the battery all right and we started the electronics of the car and as a result it allowed us to open the boot but the seats the seats were gone so we can't do anything about the seats yet uh the recommended course of action from the prestige team is to replace the control module so uh, they are helping the owner to source for replacement control modules for the seats okay guys so we have alif here uh a new member of the crew who is who is uh well, he's taken out some of the panels here to clean up from the from the, from this Mercedes. And uh, what we have done is that we have sprayed Pro Nano Plus on the on the panel on the inside of the panel because a lot of these panels, right, the insides, okay, 
all the mud were trapped inside. So we are, we are cleaning up the insides of the panel, right, with a detailing brush to brush out all the mud. And, uh, yeah, and so that the owner gets it back all nice and clean inside out. So uh, just introduce you guys to Alif. Alif! Yes. So uh, he's, the new, later, he's one of the latest two of my two members of the team. So, hey, bro, you... Before this, what were you doing? Uh, before you came on board? Uh, I studied graphic design. I got a diploma. Uh. And I interned at uh, NSPP. So, okay. you study graphic design. Sekarang, Mari Cuci Creator. Yes. Okay, he also free. He's also a freelance graphic designer. So I told told my team members, you guys are free to moonlight during your off days. Kala, if anybody looking for freelance graphic designer, tapi I, I don't know whether his skill boleh pakai. You know. So far, he seems quite good at cleaning cars, but whether he his skill as a graphic designer, I haven't had a chance to test that yet. But of but that will come shortly. Apa kau buat sini? Okay, so Alang is he really is the, the newest hire of the of the of the team lah. So he is uh, he he brings workshop expertise to the team. Before this I've introduced you to Izat, I've introduced you to Umar. Both of them have a background in aircraft maintenance. Alang here as uh, uh, used to work at a workshop and such is our luck. Now that we have a Mercedes here to clean, Alang used to actually come from a, for, uh, a Mercedes specialist. All right, so he's now helping me to figure out uh, how to access the seats, the, the, the seats, so that you know we can safely uh, open up the seats, remove it, and and that way we can access the carpets. We can take the carpets, dry the carpets, and then I can release the car to the Prestige team to work on and clean it. All right, whilst we to work on and fix it whilst we clean the interiors of the car. Just to let you guys meet Abang Yus from uh, who is on loan from my partner Symphony Auto Care uh, to, to bring his expertise in car washing techniques to us. So Yus is also an accomplished well uh, in the art of dismantling the interior of car because during the recent floods the symphony auto care team they were also they also had their hands full in in uh, in cleaning up flooded cars eh masa tu december tu korang banyak kereta banjir kan kat sana yeah. kan so ini banyak lagi nak buka banyak lagi tapi tak apa saya saya percaya dengan kau punya kau punya kebolehan bro okay, so this just rolled in for a morning drive package, this absolutely beautiful uh, BMW E32 730i. Guys, check this out. Huh? Manual. Manual, guys. And, uh, well, just now I had the pleasure of rolling this car into, into the shop. And first thing I can tell you is the door of this car open and close absolutely rock solid the suspend the, sorry the engine revs beautifully owner just bought this spent a good fortune on the engine to do up the engine um car looks very tastefully done of course it's not it's not pristine it's not um it's not concourse condition but this car definitely is in a shape that will turn heads anytime all right uh when you drive drive past in this so it's a 730i manual three liter m30 engine and yeah doors feel solid engine right spurs along very very smoothly and the gear changes nice precise and you know just how seriously this guy takes his driving all right when despite driving a relatively old car oh see that guys ps4 tires front and rear Okay, so this this car this car seems to be finished in a similar shade of blue uh, to the BMW color called Cyrus Cyrus Blue Metallic. Okay, look at this guys, open pore wood trim, absolutely gorgeous. All right, the cabin inside here, we've got this analog clock, single din. Uh, single din audio system all right this is also a very sought after bmw m tech steering from that era you can see this car has the uh, miles per hour gauge so it's uh it's a uk spec car 
all right manual transmission and uh, this 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 is pretty much a very very similar cabin all right to what you would find in the uh, in the bmw e34 5 series as well all right absolutely stunning uh can't wait to start washing this car okay so before we start the wash process the team will go over the car earlier on we have checked the the bodywork to see what's any any dirt, uh, severe dirty stains or whatnot all right now we do a little extra all right we check the tire pressures we check the condition of the tire threads and we even check the thickness of your disc brakes so that is a little thing that we just bought all right so we can measure the specific thickness of your disc brake uh, of your brake pads and uh, advise you if you if you need a new set of pads in your car so yeah. eight millimeters for this e32 it's fine it's all good all right and uh, yeah we'll go on and check out the rest of the car okay guys it is very rare all right but here we have this is a bmw with the rims all right the barrel inside is clean usually bmw rims are confirm one look at mine <laughs> it's all full of brake dust one confirm <laughs> And the washing is well underway. We have sprayed the first layer of Pro Nano soap on the car's body, and now we are hosing the car down. But see, the thing, the beauty about this car is that right, the car has arrived arrived to us in a in a already relatively clean condition. All right, this owner evidently cares for this car gives it lavishes it with good care uh definitely parked under shade i have no doubts about it and uh yeah the paint work it's not the original factory paint work i'm told but the paint work you know it's there's still that luster in the paint work there's still depth in the color uh of course some some uh some rough edges all right uh some roughness around the edges and uh well you see there was a bit of an overspray here at the door handle but uh but otherwise this is this is one of the, the finest examples of the e327 series uh, i have i've seen up close thus far you even got a sunroof there as well so uh we do a first run through of the car after hosing down hey how clean eh? but say, uh, yeah so usually this is the phase where we evaluate right whether do we need to run the wash mitt over the car to agitate out any additional dirt but well this car is uh, quite obviously regularly cleaned by the owners so we don't have to do that phase and now the rose diamond max fan mm. so now we are spraying a layer of pro nano diamond water wax to give the car that extra shine the shine of this wax usually tahan about a week or two depending on how where you park your car uh one thing we like about this process is that the the water wax when you spray it on right it has a nice scent to it you know and uh you smell very very wangy one it's, it's very nice to stand near the car after it's been sprayed with the water wax and we have just hosed down the water wax see how nicely the water flows off the bonnet and the windscreen lovely guys looks lovely okay now usually uh for morning drive package we will include wiping down the engine bay but this car there's an issue a bit with the uh with the bonnet release latch so we decided not to not to press on the matter and we decided to transfer our efforts to the boot all right and uh decided to help the owner clean up the spare tire so the, the owner has already taken out the the uh the original the spare tire that came with the car and uh well it's uh it's dirty down here right so uh we're running our rainbow vacuum cleaner here on this uh on the spare tire well take up all the dirt as much as we can and then we're going to wash just the tire well right and you know the e32 may be small by today's standards right but this is still a 7 series and an extension to reach the, the far end of the boot man.
Okay guys, so uh, I'm behind the wheel of the E32 that came in today. Uh, not taking this car for a joyride uh, to be <laughs> to be to clarify. Uh, uh, but rather this car has uh, has developed an issue with the with the bonnet latch. So we are unable to we were unable to open the bonnet and uh, and well I tried to get my 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 friends at Prestige to help me but today they were just you, I mean you can see from the video right they're absolutely swamped with cars so uh, well as a result I'm going back to my regular mechanic site later tomorrow to and and I call him and apparently the bonnet mechanism is a regular failure item with the both the E32 7 series here as well as the E34 5 series So, so you, I'm not sure how many of you would know, but that this generation of BMWs, the E32, the E34, as well as the E30, all of them have forward opening bonnets. All right, their bonnets open in a forward direction. Uh, yeah, so, so the, apparently it, it, the thing fails regularly, and uh, and yeah, and as a result, I've I've told the customer, I said, okay, tomorrow I'm going to help you uh, bring the car to. To my regular mechanic to sort it out lah all right okay and it's just and uh, i have to say it's nice driving a manual again this is so oh my god the engine is so smooth uh, okay there's a bit of free play on the steering wheel but it's so smooth oh my god okay now i'm going through a rather bad patch of road and the ride god the ride is is plush is beautiful why don't they make cars like this anymore okay now it's second gear go to third oh damn oh the 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 the, the feeling of changing gears oh it's so nice i'm huh? so shocked okay honestly guys if if when i've got a bit more money i am definitely definitely uh getting another manual car back in my in my garage and well the the six cylinder engine well, I, I, it's it, it it's still buttery smooth despite its age this point in time bmw had two families of six cylinder engines there was the m20 engine uh, the, the, the 2.0 and 2.5 that they used in the e30 and they used in the e34 and here this one this is the m30 engine which is the bigger one that is available in uh, in 3.5 i think they had, they had they at one point in time they had 2.8 3.3.0 3.5 this is the three liter version and uh, and you know paired with a five speed manual transmission here in this 730i absolute absolute you know pleasure to to and uh, to drive even though you know i'm just moving along at a relatively sedate pace the sense of occasion that i'm getting you know revving the engine rowing through the gears Okay, I still have it. <laughs> still can balance clutch. <laughs> but that was a bit tricky because I was on a slope up and it was a speed bump. Uh, just exit the old Clang Road. Third gear, the steep slope and it climbs the slope fairly effortlessly. The torque of the, you know, the, the, the innate mid-range torque of the three liter engine. Uh, it allows you to pull with a minimum of fuss and that is always the nicest feeling when you drive a large capacity engine it's not about you know having all that power but rather being able to make progress effortlessly now I have to admit right um, one thing I have not gotten used to is the accelerator response when you want to flip the throttle for downshifting I still cannot get my uh, my heel and toe correct with this car and you know in all honesty right I think of the many manual cars that I've driven uh, 
I think my wajah is still the my best, you know, heel and toe dance partner of all amongst all of them. Oh nice! Yes! Fifth gear! Finally I hit fifth gear! <laughs> Okay, honestly, this car can be quite a handful to drive in the sense that the clutch is heavy, the, 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 the accelerator pedal is heavy, the whole car just feels heavy on the move. But, you know, it all, to me, it just makes the whole experience, you know, that much more, uh, that much more memorable, that much more uh, enjoyable, I would say. Alright, so, so okay, I still can't quite get the throttle blipping right because see when when I when I you know step on the accelerator the revs right when you are in free gear it doesn't climb quite so readily but now when you are doing about you know two thousand RPMs I would say in a in an urban environment this car can actually be quite demanding to drive. There's the you need to exert a lot of effort to continuously uh, manhandle a few things, but it, it gives me you know a, a great sense of satisfaction. Okay, guys, so uh, safely got the E32 back to PJ. Uh, leaving it here in my mother's place where you know it's parked under shade, proper shade. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to bring this over to my regular mechanic site and the adventure shall continue then.